Well, the holidays are a time to spend with family and one family member you need to watch around the table, Christmas tree and guests is your pet. And here to give us some tips on having a meaningful and fun moments with your pet is Chloe with Petco. Good morning, Chloe. How are you? Good morning, Brad. I am great. How are you? Well, I am ready for these tips because I have two little ones who get excited when it comes to having people over, and especially with the holidays, a lot of people are going to be coming by. But also, I want to make sure they have some cool gifts, and I know you got some ideas for us, don't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if, if you look in front of me here, we've got some amazing gift possibilities for our pets this holiday season. Uh, we've got our Merry Makings collection. Uh, we've got all sorts of goodies from uh, treats and toys to uh, actually matching PJ sets. So you could match with your two little ones this holiday season uh, for your holiday cards or for your festivities. Um, we've even got items for guinea pigs and bearded dragons. We have amazing, stylish and sustainably made gear right here at our Ready Soho store, uh, which you can also get at your local pet care center or online at petco.com. Uh, and we have our grooming salon packages as well for the holiday season for your pet to just look and smell their freshest and best for the holiday. Oh, wow, that's, uh, I'm liking the apparel. That just threw me off right there. But also, I know, me you too. know, we're going to want to make <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be having treats. I know you guys have some really fun holiday treats that are good for the pets. Yes, we do. We absolutely do. Um, when we're looking at our holiday table, you know, our pet parents are excited to, to share goodies with their pet. Actually, in a survey we conducted, we learned that one half of our respondents want to have their pet share in that experience, but nearly the same amount have had their pet ingest something that they shouldn't. So when we're looking at our holiday table, we really want to think about what is safe and what's not safe for our pets. When we're looking at things like turkey skin, turkey bones, onions, grapes, uh, when we're looking that sweets on our dessert table uh, or, or anything with a lot of spices, right? These all potentially pose risks to our pets and we want to avoid them. I would call those our holiday no-nos. Uh, and to get a better understanding of what our pets shouldn't and shouldn't eat, I always recommend consulting your veterinarian. They're going to have a nice answer for you there. Um, but yes, we have some great options for our pet parents, like our rawhide free alternatives, our really cute Merry Makings cupcakes that we have right here for dogs. Uh, we've got our wholehearted treats where we have cookies for them to enjoy in the dessert time with the family. We've got training treats, uh, jerky treats, so they can still get in on some of that meat action while everybody's eating. So a lot of wonderful uh, uh, options for our pets to eat something safely where we can completely avoid those table, you know, scraps altogether. Wow, very great idea, Chloe, because we don't want the dogs to be sick. We just want us to have all the yeah. food and, and be food coma. Um, let's talk about, <laughs> of course, training. Uh, what advice do you have on that? Because we know that people are going to want to, of course, make sure the dogs are behaving well. But what are some quick training tips? Definitely. So when we're looking at the holiday season, we want to get ahead of the game. So I love that we're talking about this now. Thinking about what our holiday is going to look like and how we can best prepare our pet for those experiences. If you're going to be going to uh, gatherings or parties, how can you help your pet get prepared for those by experiencing them in small doses? I also recommend pet parents think about an area where their pet can retreat to during any of these events, whether that's an area in the house, a bed, a crate, a crate mat, somewhere for them to lay down and relax. And of course, partnering with a veterinarian and a dog trainer is going to really help our pet parents understand what to look for when addressing potential behavioral issues this holiday season. And we have Petco Dog Training, Petco Positive Dog Training, where a, a, a pet parent can work with an incredible Petco dog trainer uh, to understand a little bit more about how to start this journey and reinforce behaviors through positive reinforcement-based dog training that they want to see their dog do this holiday season, like relaxing by their feet rather than knocking down the, the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. So I, I love it. Okay, we're giving to our pets, but what I love about Pepco is that you give back to others, uh, pets in need, with, with a great program. Yes, we do. Uh, so we have great opportunities opportunities for our pet parents to donate to Petco Love this season. Uh, they can donate at their local pet care center 
collector when they're purchasing their holiday goodies for their pet. Uh, and they can also donate by getting a photo with Santa and their pet, which is very cute and festive. And they can uh, get that as a keepsake with their donation. So they get their really cute photo with Santa with their pet. They can have that for a holiday card or just to have for their holiday memories. That's amazing. All right, how can people find out more information, Chloe? Yeah, so head on down to petco.com slash holiday to get more information on this year's top gifts and tips for pets. Perfect, thank you.